Welcome to question number five, part B. I've written out the iterative formula that uh, appears in the exam paper. x n plus 1 equals a quarter bracket 2 minus sine 4 x n, where the first approximation x0 equals 3. So to get my second approximation, which we're asked to do, we're asked to get x1, x2, x3 and x4. To get x1, I would set n equal to 0. So we'd have x1 would equal 1 quarter times 2 minus sine of 4. And n is set to 0, so this will say x0, and x0 is 3, so we'd have to put in 3 for that. So that's sine of 4 times 3, and I'd close the bracket. Now we'd use a calculator to work this out. Don't forget, we're doing the sine of a number in radians, not in degrees, so make sure your calculator is already in radians mode. If not, make sure you uh, switch it over. So if we calculate that, we therefore get that x1 equals 0 0.26699 and a 0, and so on. And we're asked to round this up to four decimal places, so we would have x1 would equal 0 0.2670 to 4dp. 4dp, there we go. Okay, now we need to get x2, then x3 and x4. So x2 would be found by substituting x1, this value here, not this one. Don't put rounded up answers through your calculation, otherwise what will happen is you'll get uh, errors creeping in. You'll be rounding up rounded answers. So put this one in here, put it in uh, to your iterative formula. So if you're working out x2, we've got n equal to 1, so that would be x, 1 add 1, x2 would equal a quarter times 2 minus sine 4 x1, and x1 was this number here. So we'd need to substitute that in and carry on repeating this process. The trouble is though, if we keep doing it like this, it's very time consuming. So there is a quicker way of doing this and uh, I'm just going to outline it in the margin. So just draw a margin here and show you how to do this quickly. You most probably might know this already, on the, um, you might have been told by your teachers, but if not, here we go. Um, all you've got to do is just put your first approximation into your calculator, in this case 3. So we type in uh, 3, enter 3 in, and press the equals button. And this becomes the answer button on your calculator. Now, uh, next thing we do is we type in the right hand side of this formula, so it would be 1 quarter, 1 divided by 4, I'm just going to write it as a quarter, but you can do 1 divided by 4, times, then the bracket, 2 minus sine of 4 times, and then instead of putting x, uh, we have x is our answer button, which is uh, 3 at the moment, but we just type in answer, or press the answer key, and then close the bracket off. Some calculators uh, will always put a bracket after the sine function, so you might find that you've got that bracket there, so obviously close it off after answer. Okay? Now if you press equals, you'll get a number displayed, and that number, hopefully, will be the 0 0.266990, and so on. So this is a very quick, efficient way of getting the next value. So, to get x2, all we simply have to do now is just press equals, and you should get the next uh, approximation. So, uh, press it, and we get 0 0.28 0945 and so on. So very quick. So we've got to give this to four decimal places. So this will be 0 0.28 0 0.9 and 
to 4 dp. Okay. The long way now would be to get x3, would be to put this value obviously back into here and type it all in again. But we've got our good system now. So all we need to do is say that x3 equals, just press the equals button again on your calculator, and x3 should come out to be 0 0.27. Four five six four. So I hope you got that. Round this one up again to four DP as requested. Zero point two seven four six to four DP. And finally, we get X four by pressing the equal sign on the calculator comes out to be zero point two. Let's put a point in there, 0.277395, and so on. And again, this is rounded to 4dp, so that would be 0 0.2774 to 4dp.